As a freelance film editor, I do carry a bunch of items like my MacBook Pro charger, cables, mouse, SSDs and more. And instead of just throwing everything into my backpack, I like to pack modular and use packing cubes and pouches. And this new tech pouch could be my new favorite packing item. Please keep in mind that due to everything that has been going on in 2020 and 2021, I'm not really able to test and use bags and other items to the capacity that I would like to. That being said, I still tested this tech pouch as much as possible here in my home office. So please consider this a quick look and first impressions and that all positives and negatives mentioned in this video can change once we are all allowed to go outside and I can use this tech pouch on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm going to the office. So this is the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 2 liters. A packing cube specifically designed to keep all of your tech items or smaller items organized. There is a fine balance between keeping things organized as possible and overwhelming the user with too many compartments, slots and therefore bulk. You see, the more compartments and the more slots there are in a bag or in a pouch, the more fabric and other materials like zippers for instance have to be incorporated into the bag or the pouch, which then again results in bulk, weight and potentially overwhelming the user of that specific item. One example is the Peak Design Tech Pouch that I reviewed a couple of months ago. It is a great tech pouch that keeps all of your items in check. However, the size and the bulk and all of the compartments made it a little bit cumbersome to use because it occupies so much space in my bags. Furthermore, all of the slots have obviously a predetermined size that do not always adapt to your specific needs. Which is why the Remote Equipment Organizer Kit became my choice for my tech pouch. The material does not offer any padding, but therefore was much more flexible to accommodate any weirdly shaped item and is much easier to pack inside any backpack. The Evergoods CAP 2 liters sits right in the middle of these two. While it has a very similar size to the Peak Design Tech pouch, once it's packed, to me it does not feel as bulky compared to the Peak Design when it's filled with the same items. Because there are less slots and compartments and therefore less perceived fabric inside and more flexibility to fit all of your items. At the top you find a zippered pocket that is great for all of the items that you want to access quickly without having to open the whole pouch. And once you open the pouch completely, the pouch transforms into this cradle that sits neatly on your desk. And now you can still access the first quick access compartment via this zipper. The main compartment has this floating divider that makes packing weirdly shaped items like my Logitech MX Master mouse much more easier. Inside the divider, there is a zippered pocket which is great for small items like flash drives. There are small slots in the front. However, I do not like to use these because the items just easily drop out when the cube gets thrown around in your backpack. On the opposite side, there are two bigger slots which are great for my SSDs or a USB hub. The Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 2 liters is a great tech pouch. It is incredibly well built and the way it opens into this cradle that sits neatly on your desk is a perfect design in my humble opinion. The amount of slots and the storage capacity is great for my day-to-day -day work needs. The only things that I would like to change are these small slots in the front. Maybe some form of elastics at the top to keep especially those small items in place would be great. So I have to say, I really love the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 2 liters. For all of my day-to-day -day work items, this works incredible. So if you're looking for a very well-built tech pouch that also has some very well thought out organization, which then again <laughs> transforms into a cradle that sits on your desk, then I can highly recommend the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 2 liters. So my question to you is, what kind of work tech items 
items do you carry on a day-to-day -day basis? And do you use the tech pouch or do you just throw all of those items into your backpack? Let me know in the comment section below. And like always, if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also check out my Instagram at you know the bowl. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next videos. Stay safe and healthy and thank you very much. Okay, a sentence that you probably won't hear from me in the near future is this video is sponsored by before anyone gets it the wrong way I don't have any problems with sponsorships or affiliate marketing as long as it's clearly disclosed it's a very valid way to earn money here on YouTube it's just not what I like to do on my YouTube channel still every YouTube channel has a lot of work time and production costs and with a channel of my size after taxes the youtube monetization barely covers those costs which is why i created a patreon a while back you can see a detailed breakdown of my ethics statement and how i keep all of my reviews unbiased in the info tab or description below i want to thank all of you for supporting me and especially all of you who are supporting the channel via patreon now i want to introduce a couple of new tiers and benefits to to the Patreon. So at the moment you can choose between three tiers that give you access to podcasts. For example, I interviewed Tom from Pack Hacker, Alexander from Wandering Dots, Stephen Jones from Backbuff, and Matt Richer from Cariology. But also you get early views of videos, a Discord channel with monthly meetups, and the chance to enter a contest to win bags. And now I want to introduce exclusive content with written articles about insights or early impressions of items that I'm reviewing, but also views behind the scenes. Furthermore, I want to dive deeper into the idea of creating a community. You maybe know my Instagram handle, you know the bow. And now I want to create a tier that is called YKT Originals, short for, you know the originals. So this will be the crew of the die-hard supporters. When you enter this tier, you will receive a welcome package with the You Know Morale patch and a couple of stickers. Moreover, there will be achievements. Once you have been in the group for six months, you will receive a limited edition morale patch that I will design in the next few weeks. Once you have been in the group for a year, you will receive a challenge coin that I will design with your feedback. And as a part of the YKT Originals, as a diehard supporter, I would love other Patreons to know you better. So you have the option to be a guest on one of the podcasts, if you would like, of course. The next tier that I want to introduce has nothing to do with bags. I have been a freelance film editor for over 12 years and I have been in the film industry for almost 20 years. Here on YouTube I have been about 6 years. So bottom line, there is a lot of knowledge and experience that I can share. Nowadays, basically everything that I know you can learn from YouTube, online tutorials, books and the internet in general. However, when I started in the film industry and I transitioned from being an employee to becoming a freelancer, there were still a lot of questions that I couldn't answer from looking at tutorials or books. And back then I was lucky to have enough connections to professionals to ask them for advice. Those conversations helped a lot to answer all of those unanswered questions. So what I want to introduce in this tier 5 is 60 to 90 minutes one-on-one -on -one video calls in which you could ask me questions about film editing, filmmaking, becoming a freelancer, YouTube or any other questions where you could benefit from my professional advice. Again, all that I know you basically can learn from YouTube, online courses, tutorials, books and the internet. But this way you basically have the opportunity to ask all of those questions directly or dive even deeper into questions or topics that you want to learn about. So these will be the new tiers and benefits that I will introduce on my Patreon. But please do not feel pressured into supporting me via Patreon that you watch my videos or subscribe to the channel. That's so incredible and I can't thank you enough. So all my videos will stay the same here on YouTube. But yeah, if you want to support me via Patreon, I can't thank you enough. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next videos or maybe on Patreon. Thank you very much.